Welcome back to Blast Guys Reviews. In this review, we're going to be taking a look at the FedEx vehicles for Matchbox 164 scale. We're going to be taking a look at the Matchbox working rigs and also just a mainline Matchbox FedEx truck. Looks pretty cool, together at least. So we're going to start off with the smaller one for the packaging. Here you go. We have the uh, lifetime warranty at the top. We have the FedEx. We have the 70 years and now uh, and running on Matchbox uh, vehicles. Nice artwork of the FedEx truck. Here's our FedEx truck. Looks pretty nice. We'll be taking a look at all of its features here um, once we take it out of packaging. But here's the back of the packaging. For you Carter collectors out there, this is Express Delivery Truck. Here's a UPC. It's pretty cool. Now that we have that out of the way, let's take a look at the uh, working rigs. Uh, this one actually says it's made with real recycled zinc. This is the Bright Drop Zevo 600. And this has a working feature here, opening back door. Decent realistic picture. Pretty cool. It's the back of the packaging. UPC. Now the difference in this is this is like this is more of a deluxe type. This is actually very heavy. Um, this one's about five fifty. I'm going by a Walmart price. Five fifty to like a dollar twenty, dollar twenty five for this version so it's considerably different in uh quality i guess all right so now we look at the packaging let's take a look at them outside the packaging all right so here he is outside the packaging i'm doing my very best to keep my hands out of the way because these are 160 scale cars so they're quite smaller than anything obviously it gets smaller but like having your hands on them kind of uh, gets in the way so um, as you see here, we have the white truck, the box truck, we have the FedEx logo, we have some, uh, some paint here and here for lights, there's something there on the door, can't make that out through the camera, some lights here on the front, on, on the side, right here are the lights, it's the front of the truck, FedEx on the hood, the grill, the bumper, a little bit of lights there. There's this side, it's pretty cool. In the back, not much to see, it's just white casting. On the top, it does have like a clear window. It's very hard to see inside there, it's quite dark. They were going for like a, uh, you know, some kind of scenery inside. It's really almost impossible to see that, so. And there's the bottom of the truck. Okay, it's the other door. Very nice. All right, with that being said, let's take a look at our next one. All right, so here's our GM Bright Drop Zevo 600 truck. Nice FedEx design, FedEx Express with the electric vehicle symbol, I believe. Some other decals there, quite small electric vehicle. FedEx.com, right on the door. US dot number, very cool. Does these mirrors move? No. But for a second, I thought maybe this actually came out farther. So yeah, nice truck. We have a little electric connection there for the uh, charging. There's the rims. There's the front of the vehicle. FedEx, right down the front. There's the lights. Here's the other side. Pretty much the same side we just looked at. So back of the door, we have the green door, the FedEx electric vehicle, a little plug, and then our working feature. You can stick your finger in there if you like. Kind of goes up and in to stay up. If you had little tiny boxes or something you could put in there. So you could definitely haul some stuff in there for sure. Very cool. Uh, the door is in die cast, so hear that metal at the bottom. 
and there's the top. And for comparisons, there's the working rig versus the mainline FedEx truck. These are really cool, especially if you're doing some kind of world building, which um, for any uh, collector or even little collectors starting out, especially if you're building a city, you need your FedEx trucks. Pretty cool. So there they are the lengthwise. This one's a little more in length. They're about the same height. Let's see here. There we go. So that one's just a little bit longer, but this is more plastic. This is a die cast. So pretty cool. It's in front of them. Other sides. In the back. Awesome. Obviously, if you are into building several of these, your most economical value would be the mainline FedEx truck because with them being only a dollar twenty to a dollar twenty-five, you can get an idea here of what that would look like. I only have one of these because they are you know considerably more expensive than um the dollar 25 one so it's gonna take him out for a second here but if you wanted to have a free of FedEx trucks you surely can do that no problem which is pretty cool yeah okay there's our little look at the FedEx trucks that are currently being offered as of this video so let me know what you guys think about the FedEx trucks comparisons um, price and you know multi buying them for a world building if you have any comments down in the comments let me know interesting to hear everybody's opinion Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you in our next review.